everyone, it's Lisa from My Dreamy Soap. Welcome to my channel. Now I'm going to make a natural soap, but it's going to be a winter themed soap. What I'm starting off with here is some indigo infusion, just infused in olive oil, and some of my normal master batch. Now when I master batch for natural soaps, what I do is I master batch all of my oils, apart from my olive oil, because I then use olive oil for my infusions. Now, I always get queries whenever I use indigo in that a lot of people say they can't get their blue as nice as my blue. You need to be careful about the indigo that you buy. Definitely the type of indigo you need is indigo tinctoria, not the sort of gray ones or the greeny ones. Also as well, I, I think there's different qualities and different grades around. And I know, for, for example, in the UK, it's incredibly difficult for us to get an indigo approved in our cosmetic assessments. Um, a lot of the indigos you can just buy on the internet, they just do not get through our cosmetic assessment process because of the parts of the plant that are used. So this is the only indigo that I can find that was advised by our assessors that can actually be used in soaps because it only has particular parts of the plant in. So I'm not sure if that's why it gives us such a lovely blue because it's such a pure indigo. Um, the, the downside of it is it's, it's really, really expensive um, as well. It's like normal indigos that you buy sort of online or whatever, you know, it's like 10 times the price of that. It is a really expensive thing, but it is quite strong. But as I say, I, I do always get queries when I do a natural soap with our blue in it. It's like, how do you get that lovely blue? We can't get it. And it's, uh, maybe it's that, maybe it's just the fact that we, that we're so strict on our regulations here about the indigos or, or a lot of plants. It's like, for example, a lot of people use um, rhubarb and things like that. And we're just not allowed to use them because of the parts of the plant that are used. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully that just helps with any potential queries. Right, now here I'm only going to do a 15% indigo because I don't want this to be a really, really dark blue. So that does mean I need to top up this with some extra olive oil to complete my full set of oils for this little bit. So let's do that, shall I? Right. Okay, so that now has given me my normal master batch oils, but with just some blue colouring in there. So I'll just get those mixed in. Now, I'm going to do this as a peppermint soap, because I want it to be sort of like a wintry fragrance. A mint is always good for sort of Christmas, winter, that sort of thing. So there's my blue. The other colour I'm going to do is white. Now, because I'm doing this as a natural soap, I'm just going to use my plain soap batter. If I do what I call a natural soap, I know there's all sorts of different definitions for what people class as natural. For me, with a natural soap, I don't use titanium dioxide in it. I just use plant-based colours, maybe clays, that sort of stuff. But I don't use titanium dioxide. So, I want also some oils melted with just my plain oil so I'll just get those ready. I want to make some little snowflakes to go on top of the soap so I've just got the little extruder discs that I sell in the shop. They're only going to be little snowflakes so I'm just using a standard extruder. Now I know you don't get blue snowflakes normally but I've got some just plain soap dough. This is soap dough just not coloured with anything. I know it looks very white but my actual soap batter itself is very white and then I've got some blue and what I do I want to do is I want to have some sort of different colour snowflakes so I'm going to have some that are white some that are sort of a, a light blue a sort of mixture of white and blue and then some that are just plain blue okay so I'm just going to get this one mixed in okay so I've got my white blue and then what I'm going to do with these I'm going to squish them all together just so I don't have to you know do three lots of extruding there we are <laughs> pop that in my extruder and these are just going to be 
decorations for the top so I'm not putting them in the soap So there you go, my long snake. Now that's going to be plenty of decorations for the top. Typically, if I'm trying to put some embeds on the top of a soap, normally if you get a bit of extrusion that's basically just one length of your mould, that's going to be more than enough. That will give you really good coverage. So I've obviously got a little bit too much here, but that's fine. But that's a good way of just gauging if you're going to slice embeds out of an extrusion. Hamley will really cover the top in a lot with a lot of the things on there. Let's get this soap mixed up. Now, because we're doing a natural soap, it's done in a slightly different order. Because I'm using an infusion, I can't just make all the soap up and then split it out and colour it because the infusion is actually in the oil. So here I've got my infused oil and then my lye solution and sodium lactate for that portion. And again, for my plain section. Now these are both exactly the same amounts. So I've just done a 50-50 split of these colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna get those blended up. some shred now I've got quite a lot I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all of this in uh, I've sort of planned it so I should be able to and what I'm going to do this is basically I made up a whole load of for one of the soap challenges I made up a whole load of soap dough and this is some indigo soap dough and looking at other soaps in that that I've made I don't I sort of do indigo as a background for the sort of like designs and that which is then poured I, I don't actually use that much indigo as a shape for soap dough so that's why I'm kind of thinking about <laughs> using this up as it were so I'm just going to split this half and half okay so I've just split it and then I'm going to pop half of it in here And then the rest I'm going to glue, I'm going to pour it into the, the soap over the shred because that's the bigger pot. Okay, so the blue of that darker indigo in with that light indigo soap that I've just made. Okay, now I do want to give these a blend up. essential oil so let's get that mixed in okay that's loosened it up nicely and I'm going to do this sort of like a one pot wonder 
So I've got my blue in there. Now it's only be two colours, so I'm going to have a little bit of change in the middle. And then it's just pour white onto the top there. So what will happen is the whiter bit, I know it's blue and white, but the whiter bit will come out first. And then the blue bit will end up on the top. Okay, so I've got my mould ready. Now I'm just going to hold my mould and then I'm just going to pour quite quickly oh gosh that smells really lovely and minty right okay so that was fast wasn't it now it hasn't come to the top of my loaf and i'm intending on that right let's get the rest of this in and as I'm putting it in, I'm putting it down the side where I would have poured it. Okay, so I'm just going to shimmy it level. There we go. Okay, where it's so thick it's just a little bit higher one side than the other now i am actually going to scrape this so it will get scraped anyway now scraping with shred can actually be a little bit tricky because obviously the shred can get caught so what i tend to do i'm just going to use sort of like this little drippy scrape is i just tend to sort of I do go through and scrape but it's more of a sort of sort of pushing it in stamping it down as it were like that can you see so I'm just going to do that first of all, I'm just going to try and get it as level as possible okay and then I'm just going to go and do sort of my little stampy bits like this to get that sort of shape that I want. Now I'm not bothered that it might be a slightly higher one side and lower the other side. That's fine. You know, you only can see one tiny little bit of the bar each time, aren't you? Okay, also doing this, I'm sort of not actually scraping any soap out. Okay, I think that will be fine. Can you see that sort of little indentations that I've got? That will work pretty well. For the top layer, I'm just going to do plain so it looks white on the top. So no colorants at all. So just my normal basic oils, lye solution and sodium lactate. Okay, now that's nice and fluid still. Add my essential oil in. Okay, and then whilst it's still lovely and fluid, I'm just going to fill that into the top. And that'll finish that soap off nice and evenly for each of those bars. Now that is pretty fluid, so I'm going to have to leave that for a little while just to set up a bit. 
and then I'm going to pop those little snowflakes on. over there so here's those snowflakes that I made so what I'm just going to do is just carefully just chop those up now when you've got an embed that's quite soft because I've only just literally made this just before I poured that what I find is easiest to do is to cut it on a softer surface so a cloth like this and then that will stop you squashing the embed. If you pour it on just the, the plain surface, you can end up getting your embed squashed. So I'm just going to go through whilst I'm waiting for that to set up to get all these little embeds cut up. Okay, so just literally going through and just carefully going on and just trying not to squash those embeds. Okay, and those will be my little bluey white snowflakes. set up enough to put these little snowflakes on so as you can see I've chopped them all up and they come out really pretty I like the, the little sort of various different colours I'm just going to try and use my I can't remember what they call this um, I think it's for uh, picking up little tiny uh, sequins or something <laughs> I'll probably find what it's called and put it in the description below but I find it quite useful for popping on individual embeds it's just easier than using tweezers okay so these will go on quite thickly there's quite a lot of them so that I should get a good coverage here <laughs> so there we are, managed to squeeze all those little snowflakes on. I'm not sure whether they look like snowflakes or flowers because of the blue, but hey, I like them anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to put this away to gel overnight and we'll cut it in a day or so. Here we are with our minty soap the next day. So we get this cut then. simple soap inside it does smell lovely and fresh minty though so let's have a look at what we've got okay so there we go you can just just about see can't you that slightly whiter bit at the bottom and then the darker blue bit at the top and then the little drippy bit at the top with that white sort of um, snowy bit or the frosting on so that's come out quite nicely okay so our little snowflakey flowers So I'm quite happy with that one. And here's a final photo of the soap. I hope you like this soap and you've enjoyed the video. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy soaping.